This is the first of a few videos which took the car from this. To this. From this. To this. Took over four years. A lot of it spent looking like this. I got the body off the chassis. I started work on the chassis, which looked like this afterwards, but looked like this before. You can see the outriggers are all very crusty. Uh, so I decided, rather unconventionally, to put stainless steel in it. You can see these are the main uh, outriggers at the back. Very crusty. And also the seatbelt mounting points. So I got some stainless steel tube, 304. I put that in the lathe and turned it down until it fitted into the chassis uh, snugly there so I knew the alignment was perfect as per original and then welded that all up. Uh, after that there was a little repair to do in the back corner which is slightly behind that. Here you can see now I've welded in another piece of stainless which triangulates that tube and you can see I've done both sides now and welded the tube into the old tube inside and outside. So these are the mounting plates I chopped out and made four of them to each side and put the bolt holes through. These hold the four link for the four link rear axle rear end. And then these are the end plates which attach to the actual outrigger rail. You can see the back edge of the outrigger is done. Next is the front. You can see I cut out some stainless steel box there. Then I chopped those out, those mild steel outriggers out, and you can see there's a hole in the top of the chassis there. Well, uh, yeah, so those needed repairing as well. So I patched those up first. So those are now tacked on, well, a bit more than tacked on. Uh, then I've chopped some shapes on the back so which I can wrap around the stainless outriggers when they go on and make a, make a nice strong connection. And I've also gusseted the connection to the chassis in two places. Uh, that's the now stainless steel outrigger on front to back. You can see the original repair in the back and the new repair in the front. Uh, these are some gussets to go on the top of the back end, which strengthen it again where your seatbelt mounting point goes and the other side. So that's it. Those are the major repairs to the outriggers. A bit of a plate a readaptation of the front end to suit my new radiator setup uh, and the oil cooler now a 19 row for the new engine that's the outrigger behind the back seats which are no longer there and these little outriggers hold the exhaust mounts so you can see the rusty ones at the back there and the new ones in place this is a mounting point for a roll cage uh, which goes on the chassis inner legs so i drill large holes to accept and weld it on nuts hammer the hell out of it and sink it into place and then weld it in there so now all those points are in place i clean up the four links as well ready for paint and then, of course, between the stainless steel and the mild steel, you get accelerated electrolytic corrosion. So I used a lot of Araldite, which, of course, is an insulator, to seal all of those welded joints. So now I'm into tear painting red oxide paint onto the crustier bits, which have all been cleaned up. So they, all, all of the mild is red oxide painted, and the stainless is left bare for now. And there's another photo with the engine waiting in the wings in the Omega behind. I then tried rust um, hammerite and uh, brush, considering it's meant to be brushed. It is flipping useless. I got very frustrated with it and then resorted to thinning it down and spraying it. And I cannot sing its praises enough. It sprayed onto the chassis absolutely brilliantly. I got two or three layers on there and 10 years down the line now, it is still in really good shape under the car. It's always been outside, but still the, the chassis is in fantastic shape. And the 19 row cooler in front and below the radiator, you can see air will flow through both of those independently because of that cutout. So there it is, sat next to the chassis, ready to be put back together. Suspension's on, but I will go into some detail on that in another video. And then put a bit of Dynatrol stone chip on the areas where um, stones will be thrown at the chassis from the wheels. Uh, the four links have a little as well. And that's it with my brother's mini light wheels on it, only a temporary thing. Uh, a rolling chassis. Thanks for watching, folks. Stay tuned if you're enjoying. There's a lot more to come, including a bored out set of throttle bodies, dual pump swirl pot fuel delivery system for the injected engine, very ported cylinder heads, a full stainless steel exhaust manifold and exhaust pipe set, the manifolds being homemade, a very lightweight, sexy flywheel, a Quaif ATB um, differential, uh, complete with Cosworth vented and grooved discs for the rear axle there's lots to come folks stay tuned thanks for watching